Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to put something together and give it a test. Here's what we got. Got another e-bike. This is the Muck Pet Tank. And I'm going to cut this box. We're going to get it out of here. I'm going to spin it around so I got more room. Very limited on room out here. But that thing is almost 90 pounds. So I'm going to leave it right where she sits. And we're going to get it put together. It's a foldable bike. So it's not going to take much to put it together. I think we just put the pedals and handlebars and seat on and we're pretty much ready to go. Well, let's, let's get this box open and see what we got. All right, as you see, the bike is folded in half. Let's go ahead and try to get it out of there. Are you going to help, Telly? Yeah. Box. That is the charger from the battery. Okay, set that off. Right, let's try to hold the loop out. Okay, let me get some of this stuff off. Looks like the handlebars. Oh, it's got the throttle. I like that. Feel like you're on a motorcycle. Alright. Alright, I need to get this out. Locked in a place. And there we have it. Boy, oh, this thing looks nice. Let's get all the packaging off. Package very well. Very well. Alright, see if it's got a kickstand and it does. Let me reposition you guys. Alright, let's get this thing put together. Packaging off so I can see what I'm doing. That's a nice looking white color, man. Well. I'm gonna have a mess in here. Get these handlebars on. Aha. Uh -huh. That just snaps into place. Grab the handlebars. Wrong way. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Just start right there. I imagine I gotta tighten some things. Here's a set of keys. Of course, I don't have a knife. Yeah, I do. Get these off. I reckon the bet yeah, the battery is in here. All right, I've got the keys. Now the seat, it was already on, so basically all we got left is uh, put the pedals on. We've got a headlight right here. Once I get it put together, I'll, I'll take the camera and show you guys 
a little more head light. Grab the pedals. We got a wrench, a little tool bag here. any difference okay this is the left so left goes left threads left and I seen a little wrench in there to get this one started this will thread to the right Alright guys, I had the battery out for the night because it was cold and I've got this out on the patio. Now here's the battery and all you do, unlatch it, fold it out, and then the battery slides in there. And we'll fold it up again. There, locker in place. All right, guys, we got her outside. Let's go over some of the features uh, of this bike. And you can see it's got a nice cargo rack in the back. The seat is quick release as well as the handlebars. The handlebars will also fold down for shipment or for transport. It's got a headlight here in the front. And it also has... Uh, tail light in the back it's got your LCD display this is your accelerator throttle it's got a Shimano 7 shifter even got a little dangle bell right there see now this is how you power it on okay there is a key underneath here which I gotta admit I do not like it having it underneath there so we're gonna flip it on and then you hold the power button just for a few seconds and it it has a very nice display on it I don't know how well it's showing up in this sunlight or on the camera uh, but this one's in color uh, it has your different modes your pedal assist one pedal assist two pedal assist three it has a lot of features on it and you can also downshift it these are how you shift your gears for when you're pedaling take that off which I am not gonna do much pedaling because I'm too old for that <laughs> uh, it's got your big fat tires I did ride this around the yard a few times it handles very well uh, and we're gonna take this here for a spin in a minute it's got front shocks and I'm not sure if they're adjustable I adjusted them because they were hitting a little bit and I think I got that fixed and also has rear suspension look at this so pretty cool and let me go over some specs all right the model of this bike is the tank and it has a max load of 400 pounds so at 265 i think it can handle me and it's uh it's pretty heavy bike it's heavy duty it was about 80 something pounds uh it says 32 kilograms i don't do the metric It'll take a 30 degree climb, and if you're just running on the pure throttle, which I will be, it has a range of 25 to 30 miles. Charging time of 7 to 8 hours, and the frame is aluminum alloy. So we're going to, I'm going to mount a mirror to this because my neck don't turn anymore. And we're going to haul down the road a little bit and see how she does. And do some shifting and braking 
It has your brake levers here, front and back. And that's what we look like in the front. But, uh, it's a pretty sharp looking bike. It's definitely stout. And this is not a very expensive e-bike, guys. So it's very affordable compared to many others. And in the quality I see so far, uh, yeah, I don't think you could go wrong. It's even got the front fenders, back fenders. I think I need to go get a wrench, and uh, I noticed this was loose. So I need to tighten that up a little bit and tighten these up. But all, I mean, you've seen me unbox it. It's all of four or five minutes to put this together. All you're doing is putting up your handlebars and your pedals and taking the packaging off, probably the most time consuming. It does have the 750 watt motor. And you can see it's got the Shimano gears in the back and Shimano derailleur. All right, let's go for a ride, man. Let me get a mirror on this and uh, get my camera set up and we'll go for a ride. All right, guys, I got the mirror mounted. I got the GoPro mounted. Let's roll. I got, I'm not going to say nothing until I get it past these uh, dogs across the street. I don't want them chasing me. All right, let's go. Oh, you know, it'd probably help if I turned it on. Here we go. I'm going to start off in pedal assist one. You should always start out pedaling. Be right back, boy. All right, let me make some adjustments to this camera. Not, not the best. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a bit. Don't give up my position, I gotta go. All right. What happened? Hold on. There we go, guys. Pedal assist one. Stealthy like. Well, the brakes work good. Yeah, baby. 21 mile an hour. Adjust my mirror. Can't see nothing in the mirror. <laughs> I'm just going to get over to this side. At least I can see what's coming. All right, we're cruising by 23. Pedal assist five. Oh, yeah, handle's nice. 25 mile an hour, 26 miles an hour. We're cruising. 27 mile an hour. Now I can see in my in my mirror. Somebody's coming. I see you. 28 mile an hour, 29 miles an hour, ooh, he's tough, yeah, I can see in the mirror now, all right, it's pretty nippy out here. This is fun. Adjust my mirror again. Alright, I think you guys know where we're at. Ha ah, ah. 
Who do we got here? You're wearing your hat backwards. That makes me cool. More aerodynamic. And we're headed back. Even got a little bell on it. And no, you're sitting right on the wrong side of the road, but it's safer for me because I can see in my mirror on the other lane. Actually about 48 degrees, but windy. Pretty smooth riding, I'll tell you that. I like the throttle feature versus the thumb button that I have on my other one. All right, I'm gonna get over now. Woo! My face is gonna be frozen. a little off-roading. Now right, I'm just gonna pedal a little bit, make it going up this hill very, very easy. I'm gonna pedal assist four. Alright. I hear you boy. think miss tilly do you approve gonna put a little basket on there and haul you around yeah yeah it was a nice handling bike uh i could put i need to put the seat up a little bit but uh other than that i didn't have any issues pretty nice bike it's got a nice cable wrap on here yep and 
I don't know if I showed you guys, but if you get in a traffic jam, that's your little bell right there. Yeah, so most of the time, if you want top speed, and I haven't went over all the features, um, there's a way, I think you go into a different mode here. I'll have to read the book again. But as you can see, it's showing it's pretty much got a full charge. We went three miles, so that's pretty good. And my face is frozen. And I've got to order some better mirrors, these things. I just can't see, you know, back behind me but uh there's not much traffic on this road this time of day and it does handle well off-road as well i took it off-road a little bit as you've seen uh, i am still recovering from my back out so i don't want to get too crazy on it but overall for the money this is a, a pretty nice bike and i'm one of the first ones to do a review on this bike so i hope uh people see this before christmas it's uh i know it's i don't have the exact price but i will post the links for you guys to uh, check it out and they also have a few other bikes but I do know you can order this from Amazon all right guys and uh, yeah you should wear a helmet I'm one of them 70s kids man we didn't wear no helmets but be smart if you did all right guys thanks for watching happy trails <laughs>